This is Kiku Noi, a three-star Michelin restaurant which specialises in the art of kaiseki. Eating here feels like you're worshipping the food. Oh. This is where dining becomes a ritual. Are there elements of ritual in the way that we eat in the UK? Well, you've got to wear a tie at the Ritz. Some people say grace. Me mum always made us fold the napkins at the end of the meal, but I thought that was silly because she then picked them up and threw them in the washing machine. So what exactly is Paul getting for dinner? Well, he'll be served 11, yes, 11 courses of the most beautifully prepared food he's probably ever seen. After wetting his whistle with a bowl of warm sake. It's the best sake I've ever had. <laughs> Kaiseki is all about small but perfectly presented dishes using the best seasonal ingredients, and it requires over 20 chefs to produce every meal under the watchful eye of Yoshihiro Murata, holder of seven Michelin stars and one of the most respected chefs on earth. This is here up at this. First course for Paul is pickled plum in fish semen. What's up? In Kaiseki, presentation is just as important as taste. The Japanese believe you eat with your eyes first, and Paul's second course, a selection of appetizers, could hardly look more beautiful. It has two steps. Fascinating. Considering the first course, this feels really sweet in comparison. Third course, sashimi. That's raw fish. It's so big. Raw lobster, to be precise. Oh, no, I normally like lobster. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> the next two courses feature more raw fish and tofu. But it's wasted on me. I'm such a peasant. God, I'm getting stuffed already. Not even halfway through. Next, I did get some cooked fish. It's warm, which is nice. The fish is cooked beautifully. After a palate-cleansing sorbet with a wasabi hit... Oh, the heat's kicking in. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not helped. Paul's on to course eight. Oh, that's better. A selection of extraordinarily beautiful salads. It's a barber bean. That's quite delicious. Cool fish. Number nine, yes, a lovely piece of beef. Do most people, when they come here, eat everything? Yes. Wow. Uh, I can eat everything. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's nothing of you. Don't worry, it's here, it's really... You're tying it in. Yeah, like that. <laughs> I mean, the meat dish was incredible. Inevitably, after course nine comes course ten. Kyoto-style karashi sushi. That's sushi rice topped with mint shrimp, anago sea eel, egg thread, salmon roe, grilled nori seaweed, ginger petals, shiitake, mushroom, green peas, konomi herb, mushroom soup, namco mushroom and black pepper. Yeah, that's just one course. Those last three dishes have been been amazing. The final 11th course is right up Mr. Hollywood's Boulevard. Can you see that? A sponge cake pudding. That's amazing. <laughs> that meal was a lot of things, and all of them were superlatives. It's absolutely delicious. The most complex, the most interesting, the most fascinating food. But some of the raw seafood dishes that came in the first half were very challenging. Oh, dear me. Chef's finished me off. I could sleep for a week. But the last six plates I had there was some of the best food I've ever had. And in real time, that meal took two and a half hours for Paul to finish. Can't believe how dark it is. I've been here for hours. It was light when I got here. 